and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant therefore, thou, and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant, which ye shall keep, between me and you and thy seed after thee, every man child among you shall be circumcised. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin, and it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you, every man child in your generations, he that is born in the house, or bought with money of any stranger, which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house, and he that is bought with thy money, must needs be circumcised, and my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. And the uncircumcised man-child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from his people, he hath broken my covenant. Hi, I'm Mika Alban Osheral and welcome back to my channel. Ah, this is really a, a, an interesting, very interesting episode because today is the day when I get my circumcision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, why am I telling you this? Is it really any of your business? No. But why am I doing this? Because I want to show the importance of obedience to the Creator. I want to show the importance of obedience to the Creator. And you know why? Because when you are serious, when you are serious about, about His Word, you have to take it with... You have to take this to heart because repentance is immediate. Circumcision is important to Yao. He's the one who created it. And he's the one who gave it to our forefathers as a covenant. So we can't take for granted what he says because he doesn't change. And that's something that we have to put into practice. Carry the mark of Yao in our flesh. Singing in shower, I got it going on. Singing in shower, and I'm not alone. We got yao, 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 yao. That's right. Okay, so the surgery was a success, or whatever they call this. It's not really a surgery. Uh, uh, my piece of me is gone <laughs> and um, feeling a little bit of pain but not not much to go crazy I just took two tiny arm it's alright what are you saying? now you can edit all your videos oh ok that's my wife my chate ah uh, Yep, it's a it's a very quick incision. Uh, is that say right, honey? Incision. It's a very quick. It's a very quick process. That the longest part of it was, you know, the numbness. You know, the injections to numb the areas, and then you gotta wait for it. And since you know I'm a bigger guy, you know, six three three hundred three hundred six pounds, take a lot more numbness down there. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, once they get it numb and I couldn't feel anything, that was it. Um, tricky, like I said, it took less than five minutes to get the whole thing done. And now I have to be rest up and laid up in bed for for one day, two days actually. But. Um, so yeah, doctor's orders. I have to lay up in bed for about a about a whole day, and then you know I can't take a shower for two days. I think day two. So today no shower, and Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so it's th Thursday before I can take a shower. 
but um the experience like i said it, it was it was amazing because the whole time i was thinking about yah o and his commands the whole time just the whole time i was reciting the prayer in our language i'm learning it so i was um the blessings and as a priest in the tribe of loe i uh, had to know the blessings so i was you know i was speaking the blessing over my soul over myself you know what i mean um i'm still learning it but it goes something like this uh ya baraka ya o wa shamanka shamaika shawa shamaika i might be saying it wrong but like i said i'm learning it ya ar ya o Pineo, Aleka, Ya, Wa, Shamank, Sha, Wa, Ya, Shang, Shanka, Ya, R, Ya, O, Pineo, Aleka, Washam, Wa, wa, sham, wa ya sham, yash, ya o, peneo, aleka, wa sham, wa ya sham. If I said that right, I think I'm messing this up, but I'm just trying to go off memory. Um. Ya are, no, no, not ya are. Laka, laka, laka. Shalom. I think I messed it up a little bit, but you get the drift. So I was just reciting that, and I was just giving glory to Ya. Oh, I was just praising him and thanking him for the opportunity to live, to get to this place in my life where I can just give. You know, I I be able to see see this happening to me in my flesh the circumcision the covenant it's a covenant psalms 89 verse 34 is one of my favorite scripture in the bible because it speaks of his covenant and he says my covenant will i not break nor alter the things that gone on my lips so the creator will not break his covenant at all nor will he alter the things that gone out of his lips and i know this for certain because i still see a rainbow i still see the rainbows in the sky it's always there you know the rainbow is always there you just need the sunlight to to shine at the right angle and uh, the, the the mist or water or raindrops or, or even on a cloudy day you know to to for this to happen and that that rainbow is a covenant and it's an everlasting covenant with all with all flesh so i know for certain he doesn't break his covenant and as a matter of fact he's going to write a new covenant he's going to make a new covenant in our heart it's the same covenant but he's placing it in our minds and our heart and we will be his we will be his people and he'll be our alaim cuz right now we are we are we were under a curse but those of us who have has obeyed and leave the land of our enslavement and come to the wilderness we are free of that curse and so it's just blessings so i'll talk to you i got i got my brothers of course my road dog is here you know about road dog is everywhere come on in my road dog is here and my wife is here. And come on, come on in. You see that? That says love right here. You see these people right here? I love them too. Man, I love them. You see that? That's my road dog and wifey. You see that? 
And you know, I was just telling them, you no, know, right? Mm. I said, just imagine if we lived in that house over there. Oh, my goodness. I'd get on your dance and I'll get on your nerve, man. I can't have borrow a cup of sugar. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yo, yo, I, I run out of eggs, man. Do you have some eggs? Yo, that's my road dog. Who? Who? Who is like y'all? All right, you got to do one thing for me now. Can you see yourself in the in the, in the the thing? Yeah. All right, good. Now, you got to do one thing for me right now. Sing yeah, you got to sing in the shower, man. Come on now. Sing in the shower. Uh, all day, day long. No singing, singing in the shower. And I'm not alone. Y'all, oh, y'all, oh, y'all. I tell you, man, that's my road dog, man. I tell you, this, this I just love these guys so much. They're always here. Where you know, when you have, when you have people in your life, man, that is so, you know, that's that's close to you. And I tell you, the, this guy, this guy, this guy, man. Will um, will um, um, what's the puppy name? Bow. Bow. No, I mean, was she was she dart out the door? If it's open, yeah. Oh, not but because oh, they're talking about it. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my family, and I will, you know, I'll I'll continue this later. All right. I know he did not. Yes, I did. I did, Hannah. Wow. All All right. So it's about bedtime right now. I'm heading to bed, but I just want to say thanks to. The brothers who came over and checked me out. Appreciate that. Nashe and um, Mashal. And of course, my road dog, Sai and Meka Yao. Appreciate you guys a lot, man. Yeah, I just ate some food and, you know, I'm just relaxing the bed here, but I'm, I think I'm going to turn in a little early tonight. And, um, yeah. I'm feeling no pain and that's because I one I prayed you know I'm allergic to pain and two I took four two doses so far of of um, Tylenol I took it before and I, before and after the surgery so <laughs> maybe that's what's working but I'm in no pain I went to the bathroom. I was able to use the bathroom and I did one and two. So all is good. Just waiting to heal up now. So I'm going to continue this for the next week and just give you step by step on how I'm feeling. And um, again, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys a lot, man. You know, this is one of my way of getting close to you guys and hoping you guys can get close to me. A lot of things are getting ready to roll out. Um, two, two Brothers Floating. Two Brothers Floating is our, our boat chartering company. And we're going to be doing island hopping and different islands and for your catering needs. You know what I mean? Anything you, you, you need, parties celebration just hanging out on the boat it's gonna be that's rolling out that's rolling out very soon so look out for that also my podcast is rolling and getting ready to roll out too i just took my podcast that i had on podbean so podbean podcasts which i call process to purpose i did eight or maybe nine episodes on that so far but um that's when I first started out. And I'm not going to delete those first eight or nine because they are kind of like a learning for me. And, you know, you will see where I'm coming from. But I revamp it and I now change it to from process to purpose to OMPP. OMPP. OMPP is only middle passage people. The Negro Chronicles. And that's basically just reaching out for my people who are lost and trapped in religion, in governments, in the land of our enslavement, to let them know what's going on down here. You know, just 
give them an opportunity to open their eyes so that you can see there is a better life and a better way. And so this episode here of my circumcision was just to like let them know, hey, we're serious about this thing. Um, so that's getting ready to roll out as well. And I'm going to be doing a lot of inserts too for the next couple of weeks because, you know, I'm going to be laid up here for about a week. And then um, after that, I get mobile again. And a lot more great um, episodes coming your way, all right? So look out for those things coming out. So, yes, so um, Process to Purpose will be no more on my podcast. It will be OMPP Negro the negro chronicles or negro chronicles and that would be on my podcast so look for that it's also going to be a video podcast as well so it's going to be right here as well so video podcasts and just podcasts audio it's going to be look out for that and so for right now my platform is um podcast podbean and you can go there and check that out and hopefully you can hear those eight that i did before so i look forward to seeing you um, again, don't forget to like and share this page and help us get to 10,000. We're climbing steadily. We have about 6,300 subscribers. And I just want to say thanks to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please go tell your families and friends. Help me to get to 10,000. I love you guys, man. And I really appreciate you guys a lot. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, okay? Don't forget to hit the not notification bell because I want you to be amongst the first to receive these these content all right once again thank you so much i appreciate you y'all bless total y'all